Right everyone, we're clapped here. Right, I thought I'd do a new little three part series on a sword that I've had for quite a few years. So, I thought I'd do a first part where I'll just talk about it. A second part where I refurbish it a bit. And then the third part, when it's finished, do a bit of testing with it. So, this is the sword. And as far as I'm aware, it is a Japanese Type 32 Otsu Cavalry Sword made between something like 1892 to 1945 something like that I've no idea if this is an original or a copy but I'll show you it close up in a minute there was two versions there was this one which is the Otsu which is 30 and a half inch blade and then there was something like a Ko which had a 36 inch blade and this one was the Ground Troops one and it was for NCOs, military police and master sergeants. So it's got some kind of steel, um, maybe steel, maybe iron, I don't really know to be honest. I really haven't got a clue about this, a lot of the stuff on it. Um, Tokyo Artillery Arsenal is the company who made it. It has a, just make sure I don't hit my ceiling, there's a serial number there, but that is the only one on the entire thing. The blade is sharpened and does look old. It does look like a genuine blade to me. I've looked at examples online. <coughs> Looks like a good quality blade. One thing that is confusing though is I've looked at pictures, the scabbard or sheath is pretty much exactly the same. No markings on it though. But the, uh, yeah, the confusing thing is, is the guard is aluminium. This is a magnet, sticks to the scabbard, sticks to the handle. But that is aluminium. And from what I can see, by looking online, I cannot see any aluminium ones. So, makes me wonder. No markings on there. Like I said, there's no other markings apart from the serial number. But when you look at stuff on this, it does look genuine. Looks like someone's been messing around with the the nut on the back, but part of that does seem genuine. The bolt in the middle is missing, so I'm gonna have to redo that. If you look at the cutouts on the wood, it does actually look worn and they actually match up. So yeah. Someone looks like someone spray painted it. Because I'm pretty sure that is not the original colour. You can see it's not anyway. Bits like there. And you can see where the paint is on the wood. So what I'm going to do is try and get off as much of that paint as I can. Clean up the wood a little bit. This little catch here needs redoing. I don't know if I'll be able to do that though. Um, I'll try to make one of those so then it catches into the little bit there but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that brass, brass lined bit at the end there clean up the blade clean up the handle make that bolt and that will be part two so yeah this is part one part two will be cleaning it up part three will be giving it a bit of a go because the other thing I'm interested in seeing is what it's like underneath this handle is it just one solid piece with a threaded end you know if it's not and it's like a welded rat, rat tang or something then I'll know that something's wrong about it you know and then also I won't be able to use it but um the blade does seem good I'll tell you that does seem like a nice genuine blade but like I said very hard to tell 
if you're not an expert. The lever on the end, I'm not sure about that. It's a funny shape. Who knows? But it'll get a clean up, it'll get a sharpen, and uh, it'll get used if it's usable. So that's part one. If you think you know anything about this sword, let me know, because I'd like to know as much about it as I can. Um, you know, what you think about it. And then in the next part, I'll clean it up. And uh, one other thing before I go, would you, do you want to see me doing that? Or should I just do another video once it's done? Because I could show you myself in the workshop making the bolt and stuff like that, cleaning the sword up. So that's another thing. That'll be in part two if you want to see that. So yeah, that is the Japanese Type 32 Otsu Cavalry Sword. Possibly original, possibly a reproduction, uh, and I'll know a bit more once I've taken it apart. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, found it interesting, and I'll see you later. All right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.